uh, you want change that is driven by social forces. That's what you are craving for, Raj. Laws keep societies together, right? Apart from laws, what are the other devices that keep societies together? Can you name two of the problems that have uh, for which Jhakar has been in the news last maybe a fortnight? If you want to work closely with the marginalized sections of the population, then IFS should be lower than the Danics and Danips. But the Danics and Danips are 16th and 17th. They're very low on your priority list. Don't you think there is an inconsistency between what you are saying and what you have written here? Raj Krishna. How are you, Raj? Fine, thank you. Okay. Raj, provide some interesting information about yourself which is not given in this depth. Something apart from this depth. Sir, I was born in Patna and I moved to Dehradun for my secondary education. And then I moved back to Bukaro Steel City uh, for my senior secondary education. And then I moved to Guwahati for my bachelor's degree. So I have roamed around four to five states uh, in this short span and it has been a very wonderful journey. Raj, what kind of values do you hold very dear to yourself? Values that anchor your personality. Highlight three such values. Sir, three such values will be, first will be perseverance and second will be fearlessness and third will be rationality. What are the limits to reason? Sir, the greatest limit to reason is the uncertainty in life and the uncertainty that future holds for us. So that is the greatest limit. Mm. If I make a statement, the only thing that is certain about future is its uncertainty. What does that mean? So it is rightly said statement and it only means that future cannot be predicted or anything can happen in future, uh, but we can mold the future uh, by working in the present. Okay. So, have you gone through today's newspaper? No, sir. But the newspapers are out very early in the morning. What time? It's 11.30 and you have yet not seen the newspaper? No, sorry. Okay. Are you aware about uh, this uh, uniform civil code debate that's going on? What is your take on that, Raj? Sir, my take is uh, uh, similar to the law commission's take that uh, at present uniform civil code is not uh, very desirable rather reforms of the personal laws of different religions that should be undertaken and with time a popular consensus should be built and then uh, we should shift to uniform civil code. Long run you want this uniform civil code in place. Okay. What are the three major challenges in the implementation of the UCC? So first will be the huge diversity of uh, society in India and second will be the institution of family that is in India uh, is a personal and private affair and such laws uh, they rarely do anything to solve the societal problems. The solutions to the societal problems they come from the society itself and not from external laws. And sir, third will be the patriarchal mindset uh, that is prevalent. Uh, even the lawmakers are mostly men, uh, only 14% of the lawmakers are women. So there will be a, there will be an unequal distribution uh, of representatives uh, in framing such a universal code. So uh, you want change that is driven by social forces. That's what you are craving for, Raj. Laws keep societies together, right?
right? Apart from laws, what are the other devices that keep societies together? So three other devices that I can think of. Uh, first will be the social institutions, uh, such as the marriage, family, uh, and these. And second will be the traditions and customs that are prevalent in the society. And so third thing that holds the society together is the community living. Uh, people living together uh, and coming together as a one group. That is, uh, in my opinion, the greatest factor. What is socialization? Sir, socialization refers to the process of getting integrated with the prevalent customs or practices of the society where one is living. To embrace socialization, uh, one should opt for being taking participation in the social activities and meeting more and more such people uh, so that he can learn from their, uh, the, their new traditions and new values. So that is the way forward. I uh, Raj, imagine a situation that uh, you have cracked the examination and now uh, you are presently posted as a civil servant, as a public servant and suppose, let's assume you are the head of the administration in a particular district. Now, that district suffers from a particular mindset and the mindset is that if females are educated, the entire family system will take a hit and the joint family system will transform into nuclear families and that's why people in that district particular district they are averse to female education now government has entrusted you with the task of promoting female education in that district discuss three ways or three tools or three initiatives or three innovative strategies that you will put in place to achieve that target of high female education. Sir, three such strategies to promote female education in such a district. Uh, first will be giving incentives to women for getting educated uh, as currently done by the uh, Kanyashri scheme of West Bengal as well. So on achieving a degree, uh, be it secondary education or senior secondary education, they can be given a monetary compensation. Sir, second will be to hold a community meeting of the elder women in the family, uh, of the whole society. Because these women, they have been away from education and they know the dark sides of being illiterate and uh, being uh, subjugated by the men in their family. So they can raise a far greater voice among their family. And sir, third will be to incorporate role models uh, to bring women who are change makers and women who are leaders into that district and giving them seminars so that uh, the women in the district, they have a mindset change. This is more of awareness building and uh, there is no engagement of those stakeholders which are creating the reactionary forces. Yes, sir. So, but with these steps, the women will be able to reactionary in nature. So, those elements uh, can be tackled by proper implementation of the laws itself. Uh, there, uh, if so, if any male is coercing their uh, female uh, householders uh, to not get educated, then if there is an instance of uh, mental abuse or physical violence then that can be tackled by the Prevention of Domestic Violence Act 2005. And sir, the Right to Education Act also can be enforced uh, by giving uh, opportunities to all the women. So these two laws can help. Any other law? Sir, I'm not able to recall right now. Okay. Uh, Raj, are you aware that uh, Sri Lanka is going through a crisis? And Many feel that uh, bad economic management was the major reason for this ongoing crisis. We see in our country also a popular culture, political culture is gaining traction 
and that is the culture of freebie politics. What is your take on that? So freebie politics is gaining culture in India, but India needs freebies as well. Because around 26% of the population is below poverty line and suffering from grave uh, multidimensional poverty. So they need some kind of hand holding and support in terms of free food or free water, uh, free health facilities. So the importance of freebies cannot be neglected in a society like India. But there needs to be a rationalization of the freebies and there needs to be a rationalization of the target beneficiaries as well. So that the public exchequer money that can be used in a better and optimum manner. So freebies along with capacity building and capital investment that is the need for India. How would you identify the beneficiaries for such free schemes if you are the main implementer of the scheme? Sir, first of all, strict standards need to be set that only these people will be the beneficiaries and then that can be enforced easily on ground. So second will be to encourage the government machinery and the administrative staff uh, in my department to save as much public exchequer's money as they can so that there is no pilferage uh, and also they can be incentivized for an efficient uh, beneficiary checking. So these are some steps that can be taken. Okay. Uh... Your optional subject was chemistry and you have done chemical engineering from IIT Guwahati. What has been your major motivation for shifting to civil services preparation? So there are three major motivations for uh, shifting to civil services from chemical engineering. First will be the huge canvas of opportunities that civil services provide. Uh, the job diversity is quite huge uh, in comparison to any other technical job. And second is the sir, connect with the people. Uh, being the apex level grievance redressal officer, uh, many things can be done to help the society and uh, to help the people. And sir, third will be the importance of proper implementation of the ongoing government schemes that can bring wonders to our Indian society and curb poverty as well. So these three are the main motives. The answers what I can gauge Raj is you are driven by the principle of public spirit and you want to do public service. Don't you think you will be a great asset for the nation if you go into politics or if you start an NGO because public service is your motivation? So do you want a position for that? Agree. Only then you will be motivated enough? Definitely not, sir. Even if, uh, although I am confident that I will get to civil services, but even if uh, they, I don't, then also I will continue the public service uh, that I have in my mind uh, via these institutions of NGOs and uh, any other yeah. avenue. Sir, I have worked uh, in national service scheme of my college. NGO. So, yet I have not had the exposure. Name three NGOs uh, which are working in Bukavu. So I cannot recall the exact name, uh, but uh, near my house there is one that is working for the disabled and. Yeah. Sir, so it's uh, on the lines of some Asha Lata help institution. Or the mentally challenged uh, mm -hmm. and uh, so that is all I can recall right now. Okay, uh, Bukaro, you know, is one of the major industrial hotspots in the entire country and Bukaro steel plant is actually the growth pole around which everything rotates in that area. Yet, if you see that uh, Jharkhand as a state is economically not doing as great as some of the western states what is the major reason for this lackluster performance of charkhand as far as economic growth is concerned 
So there are three main reasons uh, behind economic backwardness of Jharkhand. First is the dominance of agriculture as economic uh, activity in the state. Around 60% of the population relies on agriculture and it contributes less than 15% to the economy. So second will be the neglect of social sector um, because of enough money from license and, and ro royalty for the government via the mining options. So the literacy and health parameters of the people uh, are not good enough. And so third will be the infrastructure deficit that the country uh, that the state faces uh, because uh, lack of adequate power supply or lack of roads connectivity to the villages. So these are some factors that hinder economic empowerment of the people. Okay. How Bukaru got its name? I have I'm not sure about the meaning it. of this word. Sir, it is named after the river Bukaro, but why the river is named Bukaro, uh, I'll have to check. Sir. Okay. Jharkhand, why it is called so? Sir, Jhar means forests. Uh, so it is a region which is based on the forest landscape. Uh, around 30% of Jharkhand's area is forests. In three predominant uh, faunal species. Floral species in Jharkhand. So first will be the sal trees uh, that are the dominant tree species. Indian sir, I'll have to check that. I'm not sure. Oh. Sorry. Sir, second will be the palash trees. Uh, palash is also the state flower. Uh, and sir, sir, one more. I'll have to check uh, about that. Okay. Suppose Raj, I want to visit Jharkhand. Uh, Suggest me three places where I should go, where generally people do not go. And why should I visit those places? Sir, in Jharkhand, uh, three places that you must go. Uh, first will be the Parasnath Hill. Uh, it is a huge tourism attraction. And second will be the Rachi city. It is also called City of Waterfalls. And sir, third will be Garga Dam. It is nearby Bukaro. And it is a huge water reservoir with uh, good adventure sports facilities. Uh, are we also producing hydroelectricity at that dam? Sir, I think so, but I am not sure. Okay. Uh... Your hobbies are break dancing, podcasting, building self utility web applications. You are a chemical engineer and yet you are interested in developing web applications. Is that the reason uh, why you never opted for any employment since you completed your bachelor's? Sir, being interested in uh, web application development uh, would normally open up a lot of employment opportunities so if i wanted to pursue that i would have gotten that but i wanted to prepare for civil services uh, during the best years of my life uh, so that the chances of simultaneously as well there are many people and many people from iit guwahati some of them i know personally who have prepared for the examination and work side by side so I can also work, but uh, I wanted to give two, three serious attempts. And then why did not you join any service? So because I'm uh, consistently preparing for the exam. You can do that here, but side by side, you can also contribute to your family. You will also gain first hand industry experience. And you will uh, help in the overall economic growth. Do you think you? Missed the bus there? No, sir. The I don't think I missed the bus. Uh, there is always opportunities available, and uh, I wanted to give whole amount of time for this exam so that the chances of clearing this exam increases. Your fourth attempt. What went wrong in the previous attempts? Sir, uh, mostly time mismanagement mm -hmm. between the general studies kind of option. Mm. So, because of greater devotion to the current affairs part, mm. I usually missed out on the options. This is your first interview? Yes. Okay. 
what is the major learning that you have got from your experiences so far while you were preparing for the civil services? So the major learning uh, from this experience will be the importance of patience and perseverance, uh, dedicated continuous efforts. Uh, that is what uh, leads to results at the end of the day. Good. Uh, break dancing, how did you develop your interest in that genre? So during my stay in Dehradun from class 6 to class 10, uh, there was a culture of hip hop in the society and my friends were also pursuing it. So I also got into it. And I was good at it, so I got more interested in it. Okay. How break dancing is different from other forms of dancing? So the main key component why it is different, uh, in my opinion, will be thrill or the challenges that it poses. Uh, break dancing involves many difficult moves, uh, mainly acrobatic stunts as well. So that is how it is quite different. Is it more closer to martial arts? Sir, so I beg to differ uh, from that statement because martial arts is more about strength and uh, making an impact on the opponent, whereas breakdancing is about showing off one's best moves. Which traditional form of Indian dancing is closest to breakdancing? Sir, so if in terms of uh, the acrobatic moves are concerned, uh, Kalari Payattu can be termed as closest. So it is Kerala's martial dance form. A martial art and dance form. Okay. But in terms of performance, break dancing is usually a freestyle dance. So it is tough to compare it with any other. Who is your favorite break dancer? Sir, I got inspired from music videos. Uh, so I don't have any particular name. But in recent times, I have become a fan of Arif Chaudhary. He's an Indian break dancer, and he is he represented India at the World Hip Hop Tournament, and he's also the contender for representing India at the upcoming Olympics. How your knowledge of break dancing will help you in becoming a good administrator? So break dancing has taught me skills like calmness and giving tries even after failure. So these are two very important skills that I think will definitely help in the administration. Uh, trying after falling and trying after failing, uh, that will definitely help. And sir, also break dancing has given a perspective that anyone can do any step or anyone can do anything. So that is a vision from which I will see the society and there will be optimism incorporated in it. So I'll be more motivated to work for the society. Thank you, Raj. Raj, uh, what exactly is the meaning of the word Raj? Sir, Raj means a state, uh, a kingdom, basically. Sir, it is celebrated as National Civil Services Day. Sure. No, sir, I think I'm wrong. Uh, on 21st April, it is National Civil Services Day. Okay. National Panchayati Raj Day. Sorry, sir. And why is uh, National Panchayati Raj Day celebrated on this day? It's 23rd Amendment Act. Uh, what uh, was uh, the predominant feature of the 73rd Amendment? So the constitutionalization of the third tier of government uh, and mandatory elections and uh, giving a constitutional status to the panchayat level bodies. 
Do you share your birthday with any famous personalities? I share my birthday with uh, Sri Sachin Tendulkar, uh, the Indian batsman. Who is the highest award that he got? It's a Bharat Ratna award. Sure. I'm not sure, sir. sorry, sir. Uh, any other sportsman who's been given uh, the Bharat Ratna? Sir, there must be, but I'm not uh, able to. Did uh, Get a... Sir, he might have, but uh, I cannot confirm for sure right now. Sorry. Let me tell you, he has not won. Do you think he deserves? Sir, he definitely contributed uh, a lot to the nation's hockey sport and to the nation's glory. So, he should have been, uh, in my opinion, given the... Award. The Dulcan was born as uh, part of the game what of cricket? What major dimension was? I'm not sure. I know the exact. He was known as the Jinsar of Indian hockey. You just said uh, in your uh, draft, you can see uh, CAPA present a weighted. No, sir, the interviews are not yet held. Uh, so they were the schedule of interview is yet to come. Uh, it will be after this civil services exams. So if I get selected in the civil services, I would oh, prefer. I think I will join. Sir. I think. So I have not given. Uh, much thought to it uh, right now. So, because uh, the main motive to appear at the examination was to gain confidence, uh, because after successive failures in mains, uh, I wanted to test my uh, knowledge and writing skills, and that is why I gave the exam. So, in all probability, you will not join the CAPS. So, it is a very good opportunity, so I might take it. But uh, I will continue to prepare for this exam as well. Uh, you are from Jharkhand. Uh, talk a lot about Jharkhand. Uh, there is a holy tree in Jharkhand. What does that mean? So I'm not sure I know about this. Sorry, sir. Uh, you said that you uh, the, the reason for joining uh, the civil service is But tell me, how much of the qualification as a civil engineer would make your performance of your know, civil service engineer? So, as a chemical engineer, uh, the departmental domain expertise it will be directly helpful in areas such as waste management and air pollution, uh, water pollution. And also in terms of material science uh, in the governance administration. How often do you think you would be uh, dealing with such uh, activities? Sir, even if not directly dealing with such activities, uh, I can better monitor and better evaluate such ongoing activities in the district. Uh, I can have a better conversation with the leading industrialists in these sectors, and that will allow me to. So, uh, a, maybe as a district uh, collector, so wherein uh, the responsibility would be more towards empowering women, maybe education of children of native girls. Who is coming to place there? So, chemical engineering is also about upscaling the uh, lab based reactions. And upscaling is also what administration works on. So that will be helpful there. Uh, the schemes and policies that are formulated in the capital, uh, I'll be able to enforce them in a better way uh, because of my knowledge about upscaling and risk assessment. So also the, the knowledge of chemical engineering uh, provides for a rational... 
Sir, engineering is problem solving and uh, administration is also trying to solve problems. So, they are directly uh, intermingled with each other. And that will help me solving the real problem. society problems as well. Jharkhand has been in the news for a long period of time. Can you name two of the problems that have, uh, for which Jharkhand has been in the news last maybe a fortnight or so? So, first will be the power crisis that the state underwent uh, in the last week of April. And sir, second will be the corruption scam that is uh, exposed uh, recently. I am uh, involved with your personality. Sir, I have not gone through the details, uh, but I only know the officer's name and that her CA was involved. Um, other than that, I have Anybody uh, was the chief minister also involved uh, in some sort of uh, issue with the uh, corruption as such? Sir, in the past, there have been uh, chief minister Madhu. Uh, Sir, I'll have to check on this. You are fond of break dancing. What do you have to break in break dancing? Sir, in break dancing, there are different moves in which the body parts they move in isolation of the rest of the body. So it looks like the that part is broken. Uh, so that is why it is called break dancing. We've also uh, been a member of the National Service Team and uh, encouraged. What is the motto of uh, the NSS? What is the significance of the motto? So the motto of NSS is not me but you and its greatest significance lies in encouraging the youth to take up voluntary community works. What is the significance of the motto? So the significance is to place the other sections of society uh, above his personal welfare needs. You have to put in just one word. Selflessness. Uh, what is the symbol of NSS? What does that signify? So the exact symbol I am not able to recall. But it is something derived from the Konark Sun Temple's uh, wheel of Rat. And it signifies so the eternal movement of time, I think. I'm not sure. So I'm not sure about that. That's a right answer. Uh, you also have you abused this podcasting? Tell me, what is podcasting? So podcasting is uh, delivering any content uh, over the internet on demand. Uh, earlier it was limited to the audio files uh, that could be downloaded. But now it has been termed as program on demand broadcast. So it contains all the video, audio and image based contents as well. Can you tell me what are the different types of podcasts? Sorry sir, I cannot tell you. Okay, how can you use this knowledge of podcasting or the body of podcasting in the use of So there are three main uh, avenues where this hobby will help me in civil services. First will be in dealing with the public and uh, uh, speaking at public functions. Uh, that will be that will be uh, benefited uh, by doing podcasts. Public oratory functions. Uh, if I have to give a speech somewhere, or uh, the podcasting is also about uh, delivering content to the public at large, and uh, so that will allow me to improve my oratory skills, uh, which will be used in that purpose. It's a second will be to uh, utilize technology and telemedia, such as tele education and telehealth facilities, uh, to the remote sections of the society. 
so schools where uh, teachers are not present and uh, they, they also can be taught uh, if a screen is set up there uh, so that will be helpful in developing such education based policies so mainly podcasting is over the internet uh, whereas radio is over the am fm waves yes yeah, definitely so and now that so now the distinction between the two is uh, getting uh, and zero and uh, now podcasting actually covers in it all the content that are present on the internet so the radio program uh, cannot be downloaded or it cannot be watched after it has been conducted uh, whereas podcasting can be uh, so it comes from uh, the apple ipod uh, which was the main uh, music device that was prevalent uh, in late 21st century and later apple also uh, in, installed an app called podcasts uh, in its devices on which these audio files could be shared and downloaded so from there it came uh, you also played tennis this is at what level so at the college uh, what is the difference Survey so, while editing a shot. Sir, uh, first, sir, while serving, uh, we know about the location of the ball, uh, so we know where to hit and the, how precisely we have to hit. Whereas in terms of hitting, uh, the spin of the ball is unknown, so uh, that uh, that. One major, major so that can be in terms of orientation of the bat. Uh, in serving, usually the bat is uh, a bit horizontal, uh, whereas uh, in hitting the ball, uh, it is usually a front smack on the ball, so it is not basically horizontal. It's same in serving, I'm so, um, I'm not able to get to that point exactly. Okay, but supposing the three three different services. So in the doubles matches, okay. yes, sir. So if the ball hits the net uh, while serving, uh, it becomes a re. Uh, and so I'm not sure about. For net, it's for net. So I'll have to check that. So the bat should not hit the table uh, while serving. Uh, that is okay. So the third will be the hand cannot be touched. Hand cannot touch the table. So. Uh, I am not sure I am able to recall. Is it mandatory or what should be visible or what should be raised for a particular height? For a particular height? So, uh, Sir, I am not sure about that it should be raised to a particular height. But there can be such. Uh, can be or is? I am not sure. There can be such. Supposing you throw the ball in there and you miss hitting it, would that be a let? Let me to the Sir, if the ball hasn't touched the bat, uh, it would be a let. That is how it is. But is that the rule? Sir, I'll have to check that. So, so. You said one of the values that you had was perseverance and you proved it with your previous uh, uh, book. And you also said fearlessness and rationality. Can you give me one instance? Then 
sir i was uh, it was in guwahati uh, i was uh, uh, with my father and i had to uh, i was going to see him off to the railway station uh, he had a train but on the road uh, i saw an accident victim uh, falling uh, fallen besides the road so i immediately stopped the car uh, he was in a very bad condition and my father was also getting late for his train so i i asked my father to continue his journey towards the station and i stayed uh, with the accident victim and i called his mother uh, i ensured that they know about his location and uh, i waited for there uh, until his family members arrived uh, so that was something that i think was a rational move uh, on my part and uh, i was alone there because taxi cabs were not uh, allowing to take that person in so it was a fearful moment for me as well sir, because i was not sure what is going to happen okay thank you raj raj okay. just so after that we'll wind up this interaction why have you placed the indian foreign service as your fifth preference so there are two main reasons for that first is i have greater inclination to be with and work for the most vulnerable and marginalized sections of the society and second is the parental preference that uh, my the life style of my parents and their lives will be easy uh, if i stay in india if you want to work closely with the marginalized sections of the population then ifs should be lower than the danix and danips but the danix and danips are 16th and 17th they're very low on your priority list don't you think there is an inconsistency between what you are saying and what you have written here so the low preference for danix and danips is mainly because of the group discrimination uh, between the services you said your motivation is to work with the vulnerable sections don't you think danix and danips give you more opportunity rather than the indian foreign services definitely sir uh, but uh, the career opportunities is also uh, that i have taken into account okay uh, <clears throat> are you biased towards the tribals thanks so, sir okay you're not sure about it so i'm not biased towards tribals okay but then you see in uh, zone 1 Odisha is your last choice, which is tribal. Himachal Pradesh in zone, which is your second zone in that zone one actually. In that Himachal Pradesh is your last choice, which is again tribal. Zone three, which is your third choice, Chhattisgarh is your last choice. Zone five, which is your fourth choice, in that Kerala is your last choice again, good tribal population. Zone four, which is your fifth choice, Nagaland. predominantly tribal and over and above everything zone 4 which is northeastern zone is your fifth choice this is creating an impression as if you are biased against the tribals would you like to defend yourself right yes, sir so first of all uh, apologies if it reflects so uh, but uh, so these cadre preferences are given mainly because i have to choose something and my first choice is also jharkhand uh, which is a tribal based area so that uh, that is uh, enough since so zone as your last choice so because i had to keep something as the last uh, and all other areas uh, they were offering something some other opportunity uh, in terms of the large expanse of work that could be done there and the uh, From where have you gained this knowledge that northeastern zone does not provide you enough area, uh, areas to work? That's not the case actually. Uh, every zone provides equal opportunities, uh, but the larger states uh, they provide greater capacity to empower the people. Uh, that is I, what I think. So this was the reason. reason for placing north east as your last choice that means my question is very simple so the main reason will be the uh, prevalence of insurgency and uh, militancy in the area 
so from a safety security perspective uh, that has put at that has been put at a last choice but even if i get the opportunity to work in northeastern areas i will be happy to do so and i will contribute my best to it and a state which comes under the red corridor yes why have you placed it in your first choice when safety and security is your concern so because jharkhand also provides uh, opportunities to work for and that militancy in jharkhand is now very low and jharkhand sorry for the wrong word sir so the left wing extremism in jharkhand is now very low and it is rarely uh, attempted towards the government functionaries now but so the main thing is the opportunity to work uh, i will be more motivated to work uh, in jharkhand and bihar uh, as they are my home states uh, that is the simple reason situation will go down if you are posted in southern part of the country or north eastern part of the country mm. uh, i will be con- i will continue my motivation and uh, continue with the same spirit Uh, that i will have in any other state as well but since i have to give some order to the states uh, that is why that has been given sir thank you raj your interview is over we will reconnect with you in some time for a feedback okay get a pen and paper for him raj uh, before we begin this feedback session i want you to analyze your own performance and if you have to put yourself on a scale of 10 where would you place yourself sir i was able to answer some questions in a decent way uh, but in some questions uh, it would have been better especially in some questions i answered bit long uh, explaining the individual points uh, that is something that i have to work on and apart from this i think there is a problem with eye contact that i don't do enough eye contact sir apart from this in this year sir scale of 1 to 10 6.5 maybe uh raj you see that self realization is the first step towards improvement right it's good that you can find out some of your problems you must understand dear that this is not the test of your knowledge your knowledge has already been tested this is the test of your personality though aspirants generally call it the interview upsc calls it personality test so what is being tested here what kind of values you hold what kind of virtues are there in your character right do you have decision making ability can you work under stress kind of situation can you engage with multiple stakeholders are you a good listener do you have a problem solving attitude can you comprehend the complexity of a certain thing do you have situational awareness do you understand that and once you are trained whether you will be an asset for the administration or you will become a liability upon the administration do you get it and once you go into the administration whether you will further the cause of social justice or you will become an impediment in the path of delivery of social justice how much do you respect the constitution what kind of communication skills you have are you a good negotiator can you persuade people do you get it so these are the things that are being tested not your knowledge every question that is thrown at you it is thrown with the intention to know that whether you have these qualities or not do you get it so if you fail on facts there is no harm but if you fail on facts that you have provided then there is a big problem do you get it so well having said that what is the requirement of this personality test let me come straight to the good points first it was good that uh, you took permission to enter the room what did you say may i get in or may i come in yes uh that's not the right way you have to say may i come in then stand beside the chair and do not take your seat until you are asked to do so this showcases that you can wait for orders do you get it and you greeted appropriately and then you uh, were polite and decent throughout the interview right your communication skills are also decent um command over language is also good uh some of your answers were very good you balanced things very well but let me start from the attire first this is the critical analysis let's not get obsessed with the good points because you have already covered those bases 
let's talk on those areas where you need improvement <clears throat> you have not shaved have you no you haven't oh, no it has to be the day of your interview when you do your shave you understand that why because you look very sharp and even the soldiers who are trained meticulously they are regimented over years they also do a full dress rehearsal right so it psychologically prepares you for that big day so do that the eye contact you have realized it that it was not appropriate the right way of having the eye contact raj is when somebody asks you the question look towards that person only towards that person do not shift your eyes this showcases that you are eager to listen and you are attentive do you understand that once the question is done then you start answering by looking at that person who has asked you the question say 60 to 70% of the time should be dedicated towards that person and in between you should look towards other members of the board as well otherwise they might feel neglected they might also take offense of it to understand that so uh, you start your answer by looking at the person who has asked you the question and you end your answer by looking at the person who has asked the question in between try to engage with other members of the board especially to take those opportunities when somebody is writing something take that opportunity to engage with other members of the board do you get it then uh, the socks are they deep navy blue and and do you intend to wear this same suit uh, then uh, change your socks to dark black right and without any kind of marks on it simple sober formal full length black socks right no kind of uh, marking on it of any company or something like that the shoes are not polished right and uh, this might happen on that day also maybe you started from your place with well polished shoes but the dirt in the road uh, it got stuck to the shoe so carry a small piece of cloth by which you can wipe off the dust right so take that thing in mind sitting posture it was not good at all first you should sit in the center of the seat while you were doing that and your spinal cord should touch at the back of the seat right the distance between your knees should be as much as it is between your shoulders do you get it and uh, the feet should also be placed apart almost at that distance right so your knees and your feet should be in line heels closer toes slightly out again bring your feet closer bring your feet closer yes slightly the toes slightly out yes outwards in that way you look more relaxed right the hand position was like this you kept your hands over your thighs or over your knees for some moment and then you started placing your hands like this and you were also playing with your fingers these are signs of nervousness do you get it raj so rectify that thing the sitting posture with this position it's fine but you should not sit like that throughout the course of the interview otherwise it appears that it is very mechanical aap kahin se seekh ke aaye ki yahi tarika hai in between you can lock your fingers right lock lock your fingers yes you were sitting like that this is not the right way lock your fingers and tightly with your thumb as well so that you do not start playing with your fingers right unnecessarily it catches our attention right and the moment we start looking at the gestures of your body obviously we are not listening to what we are saying to get it uh then you need improvement in name related questions date of birth 24 of april it's a big day in india why apart from the panchayati raj thing yes that judgment you never mentioned that right jaise 26 जनवरी और 15 अगस्त को क्या कहते हैं भारत माता की जय यही कहते हैं ना तो इस सर्विस के लिए क्या कहना चाहिए कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन की जय क्योंकि आर्टिकल 312 हैज क्रिएटेड द ऑल इंडिया सर्विसेज फॉर व्हिच यू आर ट्राइंग राइट तो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वाला एंगल सबसे पहले लाओ ना भाई यू गेट इट झारखंड योर होम स्टेट पहला प्रेफरेंस भी डाला है आपको ठीक से आइडिया नहीं है झारखंड के बहुत सारी चीजों के बारे में हाउ इट गॉट इट्स नेम तो आपने बता दिया बट बोकारो यू आर नॉट श्योर सो इम्प्रूव योर नॉलेज रिगार्डिंग झारखंड बोकारो सचिन तेंदुलकर 
He is a recipient of the Bharat Ratna. Is there any higher civilian award in India than Bharat Ratna? You were saying, I am not sure. It is common sense. Hai. Do you understand that? In fact, you said, I think, I think, I am not sure, I am not sure. It became more or less like a norm rather than an exception. So, you are saying that you are not sure. If you are saying that you senior not sure, you are not sure. You are not sure. You are not sure. You are not sure. not sure. So, it seems that they will ask you to So, show some sort of conviction also. But do not bluff if you are not sure really. Not bluff, that is why I put this. Bowl to the best of my influence. I say, bowl to the best of my Okay, I think, I feel, a card do. Words would be, I believe, in my limited knowledge, to the best of my ability, what I can recall as of now. I say, words use karo. Why you want to join the civil services? So the answer was okay, but the, it was not organized properly. It has to be short and swift, very clear, right? And try to maintain a balance between your social ambitions and your personal aspirations. It will also give me an opportunity to learn, it will give me an opportunity to achieve my highest potential. Don't say it will give me prestige, yeah, aisa, aisa, kuch bhi. Do you get it? I asked you a question very straightforward. You were not listening to the question very properly. I asked you, name three places in Jharkhand where people generally do not go. You said uh, uh, Parasnath Temple or Hill. Then you said, uh, I think, Ranchi City and Gar Garden. Right? And you said, these are famous tourist spots. What did I ask you? I did not know any such places which is... Hidden from the tourists. So, yar, kuch bhi bol do. Yehi to awareness hai. Wahi hoga kya? Jo list Jharkhand Sarkar niklagi nikale ki tourism ministry wahi bataoge kya logo ko? To aap me aur ek layman me kya fark hua? Do you understand that? Gargad M ke baare me maine aap se puche do sawal hue. Not sure. Aapne khud bataya uske baare me. Is there hydroelectricity padi hai uske baare me? Agar hai to kiti capacity ki hai? Dam bana kyu hai? Do you get it? Uh, podcasting types, you were not sure. Table tennis, you were not very much sure. You need improvement on the, these areas. But the blunder was the carder preference. Apne kya bola apko pata hai? Apko yaad bhi hai apne kya bola hai? For foreign service. Carder preference, I'm saying, not order of services. Go to the northeast. Insurgency has it. You are bothered about your safety and security. So, IPS is not opted. Why do you put it in the other side? Why do you want to IPS? Tell yourself. You are scared. How did your defense happen? And then you said that I am more motivated to work in Jharkhand. It means you are showing regional biasness also. This is what kind of service? IS and IPS, Raj. What kind of services are they? All India, All India services. It means the entire of India should be the same for you. Do you get it? This was a trap. I knew that you would go back. Okay. The foreign services wala bhi, I'll come to the answer. First, try to learn about your mistakes. Foreign services, what did you give your answer? What did you give? Do you remember? Work for more vulnerable and marginal sections. So, it's a mess. You can go there. You can say that there is a group B. That's why I won't go there. Dekho, best answer hoga, UPSC gave me an opportunity to exercise my preferences. I have just done that. I have not placed any service or any carder lower than any other. But I have just created a preference list. But I would like to register this here with all the willpower at my disposal that I am ready to serve in any part of the country and in any capacity and I'll be more than fortunate if I get that opportunity. Close the window. Okay, Northeastern will get, like the Sikkim Kader will get. Let's leave it. Why are you talking about it? Why are you talking about insurgency? Why are you talking about it in Jharkhand? Now it's not. Left wing extremism. I mean, you are doing strange things. Right? If someone understands, if someone is sitting in a senior officer, 
वो तो ऑफेंस ले लेगा ये और कोई नॉर्थ ईस्ट कार्डर का हुआ तो आप तो उनके विजडम को भी क्वेश्चन कर रहे हो यू गेट इट तो दिस इज माई फीडबैक डियर वेन इज योर इंटरव्यू शेड्यूल ट्वेंटी फोर्थ में राइट यू हैव टाइम टू वर्क ऑन दीज एरिया सर विल नाउ गिव यू दिस फीडबैक आफ्टर दैट यू कैन आस्क योर क्वेश्चन एंड देन आई डिस्कलोज योर स्कूल आई कंटेक्ट वॉज वेरी पुअर आई थॉट वॉज जर्की वो जस्ट जस्ट लुकिंग एट दर्सन एंड जस्ट जर्नी सो जर्की गिव एन इम्प्रेशन आई थिंक टू अवॉइड कंटेक्ट विद अदर पर्सन It was which gives a very wrong impression, and I'm very surprised that you yourself realized your mistake, but yet you are able to correct it. So right. you will have to do that. But you know, uh, remember, eye contact with players is very important. Suppose there are five members of the team, one member uh, you are ignoring for uh, say, the interview. Five minutes, everybody has taken. Last one that means you are ignoring for twenty minutes out of the twenty-five minutes. So we like it. Scores are going to be overall scores, which are going to be average. Individual scores which are going to be average for it. So what will happen? One person says, "He says, 'I am the second and very poor. He has ignored me. He gives you a low score. So overall score takes a dip. So this is a very important role. Remember that. So in fact, that you are going to realize that." But yet it did not make any correction. That's where the problem was. Even in the compound. Uh, you know, very good, very smiling disposition. I loved it. But uh, that actually added, you know, the moment you entered, my was so beautiful. I loved it. So interesting. But then you know, the other things completely uh, more odd. So. Your uh, spectacles, I will be taking the same spectacles. Because you know, even if spectacles are coming down, that is really good. You know, really not be casual about. Are you comfortable with the rimless one? I have tried it, but people say that it is better. But I have tried it. Even if it is uh, rimless or it is the same, no problem. But the fact that They should not be tilted, you know. They were coming down, and they were tilted, and they were look of being very casual. So that is what we need to check on it. So knowledge of data of course. Of course, you this comes from twenty four days to twenty four days. Major blunder. There are often many corrected. You also have information about the importance of twenty four days to switch down. Right? That day, uh, that it is a day, and Kesav Nanda Bharti, yes. Sir. The day to me, it's a. You remember it, uh, it was uh, birthday, but we are talking in terms of civil service and thing. Is that not very important? Also? I think they have. Uh, I think you should have. Uh, you know, whenever you are given any information, you have to thank. It should. It does not give a very good impression. Whenever you give any any information by the panel members, they may give you information. So they give you some information. Whenever you have the opportunity, benefit with your both your hands and the members for it. Very much for the information. 
It shows that you have, uh, you, you are humble. Otherwise, it shows, you know, he's taking it very easy. Right. You have to be, you know, humility has to be personified. Not very interesting. So, I don't know. Not sure was a bit shocked. You can add the uh, both uh, uh, the what uh, the Nikola is to cricket, Hanjan is to hockey. There was such a controversy that why has he not been given Bharat and uh, he should have been the first person to give him Bharat. The only more question I could have asked you about Hanjan. Uh, so, recently, naming of the. Yeah. Remember what? Something was named after him. I had no idea about it's not something. He has the award in sports. Yes. Kail Ratna. Now it is Major, Major Dhyan Chan. And whenever you are using the names, do not forget to use the proper uh, description along with it. Shri or Mr. or in this case, the service person, and no person wants to be called uh, just by his name, you know. The rank must be said with that with the name. Then uh Martin, <coughs> how do you not talk to the no of the Karma trees? I mean I remember last week there was a person who was released that there were so many sets of people being released with Karma trees. So uh, and that knowledge should have been there with you, right? Uh, then uh, he appeared, not sure. If you're not sure, then why have you appeared? Please don't make such uh, statements. Hey, yes, sir, I will join. Later on, we continue subsequently. Yes, sir, I will join. I will continue with my efforts to continue join the same service. Mm -hmm. That was the right answer. Uh, then, uh, table tennis. So what is the difference between the service and uh, taking a shot? The, the ball is lifted in. Set three rules. Out of the first level of rules, you have to toss the ball six inches in the air. Minimum of six inches. You can toss at six feet also. But minimum of six inches is the height given. Number two, remember the major difference in the service and shot. When you are serving, you are hitting your side of the table first. When you are taking a shot, when you are taking uh, you are returning a shot. The ball is landing on the opponent's foot, not on your foot. Major, major difference. When you miss taking the shot, when you survey, you uh, you get the idea. When you are uh, taking the serve, you toss the ball, you miss to hit it. What is that? It is not a net. It is going to the opponent. You may not be doing it, but what is the good position? What you have to do? When the ball touches the net, it is not a net. It is not a V. Okay, See, this is the information you have given you played a thing muscle level, you said. So you should have had better information than that. Oh uh, knowledge of podcast types, how would you use? So making you said I'll be making public speech, I can make you this. How can you make use of public uh, podcast in a public speech? They are completely different things. Your uh, services, you know, uh, uh, for improving your uh, quality of uh, education, you can use it for design or for uh, education, you can use it for marketing also. You can market it to your uh, different uh, uh, policies that you have. Awareness building. Awareness building, right? So uh, that is where you can use it. In, uh, uh, Chemical engineering and civil services. You are focusing on your chemical engineering. That is not the point. That is just one element of your of your total uh, personality. The question is taken. The question is asked. Chemical engineering, but that is not. But just your engineering qualification. You will never ever get a job like what he said. Where you get put in your services of uh, 
knowledge of civil engineering or civil engineering or right uh, chemical engineering. This the knowledge that we have gained, this is the, ultimately you said when I uh, launched into that particular field, then ultimately you said problem solving. Yes, that is where we are going to look for. You know, uh, scientific temper that you have gained, systems approach to solving problems. That is where we are uh, uh, going to help you. Remember that. And, uh, one last point. Even when you came in for, the, for your feedback, you gave another impression that you are not organized. Should have bought your paper and went along with you when you came and said. So, then, so what happens? You know, all these things matter. So, so remember, uh, all these points have been told to you, are being told to you, with what, with what reason? I can assure you, all these things, you know, they will sound very harsh, but they are going to be extremely helpful. I can assure you, if all these points of action, it is 25 to 40 marks difference can be made in your overall also. That would be a huge, huge number. That can be different between yes and no. Selection and rejection. So please pay attention. You said your date of interview was the 24th May, right? So you still have a hope to attend it. Make sure of this time. Uh, make sure you will be sitting, keep your position, you know, your legs, your feet are moving, your heels together. Heels together. That gives an impression that you are looking confident. If I sit like this, is that giving you a good impression or is this giving you a good impression? Remember, sit erect. More the while your uh, legs are open, it gives a feeling as if you are trying to dictate. You are in a position of authority. No, you are on the receiving side. So sit erect, but don't to be too profound with the uh, Overall, I can assure you, these points will make a world of difference to you in your performance. And uh, even if you can correct fifty percent of them, I think you still have a very good chance. Right? Improve your knowledge of data work, your chapter. Your uh, hobby section. Hobby section is all the very best match. As sir rightly pointed out, without a shadow of a doubt, if you work on these areas, there will be a jump of 30 35 marks at least. It could be anything beyond that. One, once you said that the difference between radio broadcasting and podcasting is you cannot listen to radio programs, you cannot download them. Later, are you aware about air.nic.in? Yes. Are you aware about the archives? Yes. So, yahan par thoda aap tayari rakhna. Ye ek sentence bol dena. Though now, some radio programs can also be downloaded. But generally speaking, aisa kar do usko general rather than a specific statement. Uh, you can ask your questions, Raj. So I am not able to recall any such question right now, uh, but uh, I will definitely work on these uh, and try to improve my Thank you, sir. And see, you have all qualities for a civil servant. But one thing you need to do. What do you think? Yes, two things you need to do right. First, your state knowledge. Right? And your DAF, overall DAF, it needs improvement. Right? And you were not sure, very confident not you. पूरे इंटरव्यू में आप खुद ही बोल रहे थे आई एम नॉट श्योर आई एम नॉट श्योर आई एम नॉट श्योर एक बार तो ठीक लगता है हर हर दूसरे क्वेश्चन के बाद तीसरा क्वेश्चन यही था आपका आंसर आई एम नॉट श्योर दैट्स नॉट द राइट सो एज़ फार एज़ दिस इंटरेक्शन वाज कंसर्नड वी हैव अवॉर्डेड यू 150 150 बट ऐड 35 टू दिस देन योर स्कोर स्टैंड्स एट व्हाट समझ में आ रहा है इतना तो मिल जाएगा अगर आप एरियाज पे काम करते हो हां 9 दिन काफी होते हैं बेसिक फ्लॉ नहीं है पर्सनालिटी में they say, um, you're not stubborn, uh, you're not argumentative, too much so that you go into a confrontation, right? And you're polite and decent. The major bases are covered. Slight improvements. 
you know, and card and answer that costed you nearly 30 marks to them nearly 30 marks never ever say anything which goes against the values of the service you get it all the best you ask about the nationality example maybe much